in the middle of a Milford meadow. Firefighters are focusing on a scenario they see often, car fires. Between 95, 15, the feeder of Boston Post Road, uh, it, it seems to be one of the more frequent fires that we respond to. Battalion Chief Adam Hansen is taking on this training, introducing 30 newer department members to the tricks of the trade. A lot of people think like, oh, it's just a car fire, it's just a vehicle fire. There's a lot of inherent hazards that people don't know about. There's magnesium in the cars that can go off. The tires themselves can pop. The windows can blow out. And it's not just about freshening up on traditional techniques. They're also using newer equipment like this tarp to try to put out an electrical vehicle fire. Everything is changing and we have to change our tactics to meet them. This car uses gasoline and the fuel was taken out for safety reasons. But an electric car, Hansen says, will burn for much longer. The, the amount of water needed to put these EV fires out is, is astronomical. They will continue to burn for days. And once we cover it with that blanket, it, it buys us time to say get it off the highway, get it to an open parking lot. Something Milford firefighters haven't seen yet, but they know soon they'll have to respond to the real deal. Trying to be, uh, instead of reactive, we're trying to be proactive, you know, and this isn't just a problem in Milford, Connecticut. This is a problem throughout the state, throughout the country, throughout the world. A problem they hope to overcome with this training because modern day firefighting involves so much more than a home. And with that, uh, we have to be jacks of all trades and masters of all. In Milford, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.